Today's video, we're going to talk about the Srade SCAXE 10 full tang hatchet and wet weather fire building. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. Today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Srade SCAXE 10 full tang hatchet and wet weather fire building. Okay, so the folks at Shrade were kind enough to send me this so I could show it to you. And this is a full tang hatchet. And real briefly, I'm out here in the woods of North Georgia today, kind of a foothills mountainous area. And it's been raining on and off all night long. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about wet weather fire building. So everything here is just drenched, okay? Um, and you'll see that in a minute, but I've got a couple of tricks I want to show you, at least um, that work well in this area. And maybe they'll, you can modify them to work them in your area if you don't live in this type of environment. So, but first, I want to show you this hatchet. We'll talk about the specs thing real quick, because uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's very nice, well-balanced, little, little lightweight, small hatchet. So, so we'll take a quick look at that, and then we'll get to doing some of that hatchet stuff and wet weather fire building stuff. Okay, once again, this is the Srade SCAXE10 full tang hatchet. This hatchet is made of 3CR13 powder coated stainless steel. Features a 3.5 inch or 9 centimeter blade length, a 5.9 inch or 15 centimeter handle length, with an overall length of 11 inches or about 28 centimeters. The hatchet weighs 1.37 pounds or 621 grams. Features a hammerhead pommel. A black TPR rubber wrapped handle and comes with a thermoplastic belt sheath. Okay, so that's some of the specs and close ups of this SEAXC 10 from Srade. And I want to show you the thermoplastic belt sheath real quickly. Uh, first of all, this thing's got a really nice edge on it. Really nice little weight, about a little less than a pound and a half. So it's very lightweight, small. This sheath, and honestly, I was a little ambivalent about this thermoplastic type sheath, but I'm, I'm kind of liking them. They just seem to last a long time. So basically the sheath just slides in like this, and then it just snaps on. It snaps pretty tough, but... Like I said, it snaps pretty tough, but there we go, snaps on. It's got a little belt loop on the back of it, if you want to carry it on your belt. This is really small enough to do that. If you are doing that, you just reach down one hand, pop it loose, and just slide it right out the top like so. so. Anyway, as I said, very wet conditions here in the North Georgia um, forest here. So if you had to get a fire going in those conditions, you know, what would be your, your, your strategy? Um, I'll show you one strategy, something I like to do. So I'm going to take you over here into the woods and we'll, we'll go gathering some fire materials. Okay, so you can see over here behind me, there's an old pine tree and there's some little dead branches coming off of the bottom of it. So. Okay, a lot of times where these little dead branches meet the trunk of the tree, be kind of a source of fat wood. And the way you can determine that is just go ahead and get them as close to the tree as you can and kind of chop them off. Let me get my sheath out of the way here. And uh, try to break them off, but it's pretty solid. If it's pretty solid, that means there's a good chance. So we just chop them off really close to the base. And let's have a smell of that. It's got that nice turpentiney fatwood smell. And if you can see that, you see the orange coloration in there? Let's get you a close up where you can see it. See the orange coloration in there? You can smell it. That's definitely got the, the flammable res resins that fatwood has. So. Okay, so that should be enough to get us started here. Let's go find some more fuel. Whenever it's raining and been really wet, I try to look for stuff that's standing. So I've got here is a standing, totally dead tree of some kind. I don't know what kind it was, but it's, it's pretty solid. It feels a little solid. It sounds solid, so it's not really rotten. So we're gonna use the old hatchet and take it down. Okay, you can see maybe right down here, it's a little rotted. So we're gonna get to the solid part up here and do some chopping, let you see this thing, how well it chops.
pretty solid. Um, it'll warm you up too if you're cold. Gosh, another thing I try to do, especially in wet weather, is find little dead branches that are on the um, sticking off, growing on trees, but they're dead. And you can tell by the, the way they just, see if you can fit, hear this, snap off. If they snap off like that, that means they're dry enough and the moisture content is low enough where they'll burn. Let me grab a handful of these and we'll get back to you. Hopefully you can see a little bit of fat wood, some twigs, and some solid standing dead wood, and the straight SEXE 10 full tang hatchet, along with the ferro rod, we got us a fire in extremely wet conditions. So, All right, well, that was a little wet weather fire demo with the straight SEXE 10. I think we've done about every test that uh, needs to be done with this. We've chopped with it, we've batoned with it, we've scraped and, and carved with it a little bit. You got a fire going in the very wet wood and it just absolutely uh, did a great job. I can't think of another test we need to do, can you? What else is there to say, right? Um, if you're looking for a really great little camp hatchet, that's small, lightweight, about a pound and a half total weight, but really gets the job done, as you can see, and is very well balanced. Now, I want to check out the straight SEAXE 10. Uh, this, this, by the way, is now my new favorite hatchet. I really like this thing. It's just, I like it a lot. So as always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing it with your friends, for watching those ads, and thank you so much for doing your shopping on Amazon through the Survival on Purpose links survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon works for whatever you want to buy. Every time you do that and buy anything, I get just a little bit of a commission and I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time. I love me some fat wood. Okay, can you see me?